Hey guys welcome back once again to my youtube channel in today's video i will show you how we birth the ship uh, how the ship goes alongside a birth and then how it is held on to the birth by use of ropes so there are different types of ropes so we use uh, the kind of rope which we use on board is the, the these are widely used the, those are polypropylene uh, ropes this is a kind of a material called uh, polypropylene very similar to nylon the ones we use in our homes those are nylon ropes and the other kind of uh, the material which we use on board is a polypropylene similar properties uh, it has as a nylon it floats and it is very strong imagine uh, one rope uh, it can hold the ship a whole a big huge ship the, the huge ship is held on to the jetty by uh, eight or nine ropes so you can imagine the strength of these ropes so we use these uh, ropes and there are different categories of ropes so there are uh, spring ropes and then there are head ropes and stern ropes so in this video i will discuss all those kind of ropes their uses and i will show you practically how we how we do it so it's 3:45 in the morning and i got a call for the stations so i have to go for stations now we are arriving port so i am going for the stations now and it's in your early morning time and i had completed my watch in the 12 o'clock in night and again after three hours i have got getting the call again so that's how uh, you know it, it happens um, uh, during uh, coasting this is what happens so if you come if your arrival departure is in, in your work watch you're screwed for all these early morning uh, arrivals and departure you know it it affects your health and your body because you know well, the full day i was on uh, i was awake I was uh, on watch for six hours, uh, which is as it is no more than my normal watch hours. So uh, I, after doing six on six hours again in the off hours, if I get the call, I have to go for stations. It it kind of takes a toll on your health, and uh, sleep is affected. Uh, the, it, it it you have headache. When more the most uh, uh, worst thing which I can say the worst thing is that when you get up in the morning, it you feel hungry because you know it, it's morning time. Your body, your body thinks that you have just got up in the morning. It's it's morning time, so you you feel hungry. You, and as it is, the dinner on board is served at six to seven. So if you get up at say two or three in the night, it's it's already along a gap, and then you feel hungry. And in the morning time, two or three o'clock at night, you don't get anything too much to eat. Either the leftovers from the last night, or maybe noodles or something. That's it. Uh, biscuits or something like that. Uh, you don't eat, that that doesn't really help uh, that much. So what happens is, what I what I do for all these reasons is all these times is I keep a little a uh, bit of breakfast bars which I bought uh, from home and also from the US when I was in quarantine. I brought uh, these uh, breakfast bars. So I'll show uh, what they do. So these are the breakfast bars which I was talking about. So these I bought from USA. So these are very useful, very handy and very useful. I got one of these, I got one of these. And these I bought from the Bond store, these sneakers. Again, my my very favorite, uh, these things are very favorite. They come in very handy. I have more of these from over here as well. The same things and also I have a few more in my bag. So what these do is, this, these are tasty. These are, this is coconut flavor, vanilla cream. So these are very cheap in the USA and also back at India also you get to see, you get uh, with the brand of yoga bars so they are they are very very popular and very useful for breakfast these are highly uh, rich in protein and carbohydrates so what they do is this is equivalent to your breakfast so if you if you skip breakfast if you don't get breakfast especially in the morning time these help these help a lot so what happens is if you have one of these in the morning uh, you yeah, your body is okay. Yeah, you don't stay empty stomach. It doesn't affect your liver. It you get you get something to eat. You feel refreshed. You don't feel that hungry, and you don't have headache and gastric uh, problems and all the all these things. They are all gone. So what I do is I, I keep all these a few of these with me all time, especially for these reasons, these times. And the one I I have this before I go and go for stations, and that way it it uh, helps me.
So now I am at the forward station and this is what the forward station looks like. We have mooring winches and uh, these are the drums and we are right now uh, holding on to five headlines and uh, two spring lines. So this is this is what a headline looks like. You see this is the winch and the drum. So these lines from the drum they pass from the drum to the jetty and they go right over there and they are made fast to the jetty on those bollards. So as you can see there are three and two there. So total five headlines we have passed from five of the drums over here. There's a three over there. I mean uh, four over there and one over here. So these all lines go from the drums on board and to the jetty. And we have spring lines over there. I will show you. So these are the spring lines. This is coming one from there and one from another over there. And these go also to the jetty in a different direction. They go right on there. Uh, you can see it from here. I'll show you from the main deck. You see this line is going right to the jetty and that line is also right going to the jetty from the drums. And this is the drum uh, from which the line is passing and this drum is operated by a winch over here. So this is the winch which I was saying and the line from the winch and this winch is operated from this drum uh, lever here, winch, winch lever. As you can see, so these two are the levers for the winch. So this, this one is for this winch and if I, this is, this is the operating position. So once we engage the winch, uh, we, we press this lever forward and aft. Uh, sorry, I mean, uh, you, you, you press this, uh, you use this lever up and down. This is for heaving to pick up the lines and down to uh, lower the line. But first you have to take the power over here. See, this is the off position now. I switch it to manual and I then take over the power. So now the power is on. Now you can you can use the winches and the rest of the buttons. These are automatic tension uh, winches, so they they can you can set the amount of tension required on the on the ropes, and they will show the amount of tension. Right now it is kept in manual mode, but when you put it on automatic, you can you can set the tensions over here 20 percent, 40 percent, 60 percent, whichever you want depending on the condition of the sea, and then you can. You can see how much tension is there on the rope and they will automatically adjust it. So that was the forward station and now I will go to the aft station and I will show you the aft station ropes. Now I am in the aft station and this is what the aft station looks like. So we have four stern lines which are going uh, to the end of the ship. Uh, as we had forward lines in the forward station, we have stern lines in the aft station and we have four here we had five headlines in the forward because of the rough weather here but our arm only needed four lines uh, stern lines so we have only four stern lines here on the drums and the winches so you see these these four two over there and two over here these four lines are going from here one is from this winch another is from that winch and two are there from those two winches so total of four lines we are going to the stern of the ship and we have spring lines which are going from these two drums these two drums are going straight outside to the uh, as the spring line i will show you from up close so see these lines are going the jetty like this from the drums to the jetty so so basically there are three types of uh, 
mooring ropes, mooring lines, three categories. One is the headlines and the stern lines, which hold the ship from the forward and the aft part. I mean, uh, and more of, more so from the, uh, uh, I mean, what, do you, what do you call that? The athwart ship. Athwart ship means uh, this is a ship, and if, if the ship is, uh, I mean, if the ship is like this, to restrict the movement of the ship sideways, to be to be uh, speaking in very plain terms, to restrict the movement of the ship in uh, sideways, we give the uh, forward and the stern lines. So they hold the ship uh, towards the jetty. And the spring lines which you saw right now, they hold the, they restrict the movement of the ship forward and aft. So the stern spring go forward and the forward spring go aft. In, in both, the, I mean both the stern and the forward springs, they hold the ship from forward and aft. So that the ship doesn't move uh, fore and aft. So, and we have uh, breast ropes. Breast ropes are not required everywhere. They, those are required in, uh, especially in some cases and for very large ships sometimes. So they go uh, straight from the ship sideways. Like, there is no angle. Uh, they go like in, in right angles to the ship. So they are more efficient in holding the ship sideways. But those are not really required all the time. So we haven't passed any here. And uh, this you know is the drum from which the rope is coming and this is a roller to change the angle of the rope so from the drum this rope are coming straight but i need to pass those rope here so i i put them i pass them through a roller and they go through this roller and the angle changes again and then they go on the shore and this is a fair lead so the rope sometimes goes through this as well when where the rollers are required we use rollers to change the angle and when we don't need to change the angle we use the rollers uh, fair leads this right here is a bollard it's a, it can hold up to 100 tons of weight so that's what it says right here swl swl stands for safe working load uh, up to a total of 100 tons can be with, withheld by this uh, bollard and these bollards are generally used for making fast the uh, tugs and uh, they are very efficient in holding the tugs okay so now the weather is becoming a little rough the wind is picking up as you can see it wasn't before i think the power station when i was in the power station there was not so much wind so wind is picking up now and hence we have to make sure the ropes both forward and aft uh, they are absolutely tight at all times so that the ship doesn't move anyway so that was uh, basically the for forward and aft stations this is how we keep the lines at port this is how we keep the ship alongside held to the jetty by the use of the mooring ropes and that was all about the station so i hope you liked this video and you had a basic idea of how uh, these uh, ships the huge ships they are held on to the jetty of course there are uh, technology is always advancing and there are some ports in the world especially the european side uh, they they don't use uh, ropes anymore they use vacuum and it is uh, the ship is held on to the jetty by use of vacuum but uh, generally in uh, almost the rest of the world these ropes are the only thing which uh, which are widely used still now so i hope you like this video and if you did uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, this video i guess uh, would be give you a basic idea about uh, how this uh, the the normal day-to-day -day operation of uh, birthing of the ship how we do it and stay tuned for more videos like this and i will see you in my next video until then stay safe stay blessed